An 11-mile underground oil pipeline near Santa Barbara burst last week, releasing more than 100,000 gallons of crude oil into the ocean and covering a 10-square-mile slick. The spill was first detected when a woman smelled fumes and reported them, after which a Coast Guard managed to stop the flow of oil. The pipeline is operated and owned by Plains All-American Pipeline, which issued an apology and says it is working to excavate a broken section of the pipeline. Cleanup crews have been busy along the shore sopping up oil-soaked water and sand, and the impact to wildlife has already been severe. The AP reports that, quote, 13 birds, mostly brown pelicans, and eight marine mammals, including dolphins and sea lions, were found dead. The area that the spill occurred in is home to many species of wildlife, including whales. In 1969, an oil spill in the same area, which at that time was the largest ever such spill, helped to kickstart the local environmental movement. My guest is Rebecca Klassen. She is the Santa Barbara County organizer with Food and Water Watch, and she now joins us on the phone. Welcome to Uprising, Rebecca. Hello there. Thanks Hi. so much for joining us. Well, can you tell us how many of the beaches have been impacted and which of the beaches specifically have been impacted? There have been many beaches impacted all up and down the coastline. Um, our major state beaches, Refugio and El Capitan, uh, are both heavily impacted, as well as uh, many beaches that were usually accessed by locals just from um, highway pull-offs and um, now folks down in Oxnard, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach are finding baseball and football sized um, globs of oil washing up on their beaches. So it's pretty alarming the distance that um, this oil seems to be traveling. Hmm. Are such oil spills inevitable? I mean, that's a big question because if we listen to the oil industry, uh, you know, the uh, line is generally that we, uh, you know, have strong regulations to, or they rather do voluntary work to make sure that they don't violate regulations and that they just minimize risk. But you can never minimize risk to zero. I agree with that statement. Um, I take my clues from the industry itself. Mm -hmm. um, if fossil fuel companies are including spills and the costs associated with cleanup in their own budgets, it seems that the industry itself thinks that it's not a question of if, but when we are going to see uh, spills and explosions and various types of environmental disasters from this industry. Um, in my opinion, the only safe place for oil in 2015 is under the ground. We have pipes leaking, um, oil trains uh, derailing and catching fire, exploding around the country. Um, th there doesn't seem to be... Offshore oil rigs exploding. <laughs> uh, yes, offshore rigs exploding. Um, we now have... So this, this oil that's spilled is Exxon oil. Three of the four rigs that feed this pipeline are owned by Exxon. Um, the fourth rig was... Um, has a lawsuit filed against it for or with the federal government around, about that rig because they were caught fracking illegally uh, and acidizing without proper environmental impact review. Um, so the entire situation here is alarming. It's not just the fact that that one pipeline burst. Mm -hmm.